Hi, Kara from Karen Co Creative here. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems. Today I have a follow up video. Recently, I made a video showing you how to install a MailChimp form using a plugin called Yikes Easy Forms onto WordPress without the annoying sort of made with MailChimp badge. Um, that button is sort of stuck in this annoying white background with white text. So it's very hard to see unless you put it on a background color. So I'm gonna show you how to customize that button in this video. Let me take you over my shoulder. So this website, you see, this is the form and it looks quite nice. Um, the edit form does not show when you're not logged in, um, but it's a nice clean form and it will match the rest of your site, which is really nice. It doesn't have that made with MailChimp badge. So if you just use the plugin, here, I'll show you the difference actually. But if you just use the plugin, I have that link in the, below to the previous video. But if you just use the plugin and you don't have any code in there, you'll see that the button is not visible because it's white text on a white background. This is kind of a sneaky thing that they're doing because they do have a paid version of the plugin that enables you, allows you to customize the button without code. And they're hoping you'll buy it by making it annoying and wet on white but thankfully we have code to fix it. So the thing you need to do is copy and paste the code that's below this video. Um, and this is the CSS class. So you wanna pay attention to this button primary is what I have it called. And then we have the button color, this hex code you can change to any color. And here, this is from the old code. It's not green, it's black. Um, you can do a border. You can do the, this is the text color here is white. This is the padding around the button, um, text align center, font size. So I can make this font size bigger. You can do all of these things. So this code is in below the video. You just need to copy and paste it into your CSS code panel. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to get in there. For most WordPress sites, you can get to that CSS code panel just from this customize tab up front. Um, most WordPress sites will have some version of this. If you hit customize, additional CSS, you may also have it in your dashboard settings. Um, like the Divi theme has it in the Divi settings. Let me see if we can actually get to it just from the plain settings. Yeah, so it's not gonna be here. Sometimes you have customize here, appearance customize. That'll bring us right back to the same thing. So you wanna look for that customize either in the top bar or go to appearance customize. Um, and like I said, some themes will also have an additional place to put it in. So you'll put in that code and customize it. The only other piece you need to do is come to your Yikes Easy Forms. And again, if you did not already install this and you need to know how to do that and set it up, you can do that from the other video link below. Um, but all we need to do is go to opt-in forms. And so this is the form. So you want to go ahead and edit it. And then you'll remember that the code, and you can also reference below, my code has dot btn hyphen primary. And that is here. So that is the submit button classes. So this is basically giving this form a CSS class so that when we code over there, it knows what it's customizing. So this is what I've used. You can rename this anything else. Just make sure that whatever you put here, you put at the top of that code with a period in front of it. So here it's without the dot, top of the code, it's dot button primary. Um, you can just have it called button if you want. Um, and you can also write it out B-U-T-T-O-N instead of using the B-T-N. But you just wanna put your CSS class here and then use that code and make sure that this thing matches the top of that code and you're all set. So that's a super quick way to customize this button so you don't have to pay for the plugin.